everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a perpendicular bisector using a compass and a straight edge. In this case, we're going to use ruler. But before we go over the steps on how to construct a perpendicular bisector, let's define perpendicular bisector first. We remember that perpendicular bisector is a ray, a line, a line segment, or a plane that is perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. There are two conditions then that should be met. It should be both of them that should be met in order that we can say that a given ray, line, line segment, or a given plane is a perpendicular bisector. The first condition is that a ray, a line, a line segment, or a plane must be perpendicular to the given line segment, meaning it should form 90 degree angles at the point of intersection. The second condition is that a ray, a line, a line segment, or a plane must bisect the given line segment, meaning it should cut or divide the given line segment into two equal pieces. So what are we trying to do right now is we're going to create a line in between these two line segments passing through somewhere around here that that line should be 90 degree angle or right angle at the point of intersection and this line segment should be cut or should be divided into two equal pieces. Now let's get started on the steps on how to construct perpendicular bisector. The first step is to stretch the compass until it is more than half of the length of the given line segment. So this is approximately half of the length of the given this given line segment right here. But then it says that it should be more than half so I can extend it all the way up here. And then put the sharp end at one of the end points. So I will put that sharp end on one of the end points here, the one on the right. And then we are going to mark an arc above and below the line segment. So I'm going to create an arc above this line segment and then another arc below the line segment. And then we move on to the second step. The second step is that without changing the width, so I'm not going to change the width of the compass. Repeat step one to the other end point of the line segment. So I put this um, sharp end on the other point of the line segment. And then I am going to create this um, arc above and at the same time below the line segment. So I will create another um, arc right there. And we're now ready to move on to the third step. The third step is using a ruler, join the two points where the two arcs intersect with a straight line. So this is the point of intersection of the two arcs above the line segment. And this is the point of intersection of the two arcs that are located below the line segments so that we can go ahead and connect this two intersect point of intersections together. And this line that I have created is actually a perpendicular bisector, meaning this line is 90 degree angle with respect to that of the line segment. And at the same time, this line segment that we have here was cut into two pieces. So I can go ahead and label these uh, two segments here to be congruent to each other. So I can go ahead and label this as the perpendicular bisector. Again, the two conditions are met. First, it is forming 90 degree angles with respect to that of the line segment. And then the line segment was cut into two equal pieces. And that is how we construct a perpendicular bisector using a compass and a ruler. That's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.